Hill was one of the best defensive tackles ever to play the game of football, which he did for 12 years, most of it with the Baltimore Colts. He was uh, All-Pro four times, played on two championship teams, was inducted in the Football Hall of Fame in 1968. Would you welcome Art Donovan? Art. <laughs> It's nice to have you with us tonight. Thank you. Are you watch out for those boats? Yeah. <laughs> Are you pretty close to your uh, playing weight when you uh, played pro ball? Well, I weighed about two years ago. I weighed about three forty. I'm down to about uh, two ninety five now. Yeah. Now, when so, you were the Colts, about what did you range at? Well, I, I had to weigh in every Friday morning at two seventy five, <laughs> and Sunday morning I was two eighty five. <laughs> I didn't eat all week long. I drank a few beers, but uh, that was it. I read your book a couple of days ago. You had a book called Fatso. That's what they called you when you played pro That's ball, what right? everybody calls me. Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. I was 17 pounds when I was born. Yeah. Are you yeah. My mother couldn't walk for about three weeks. <laughs> 17 pounds. Do you, um, you still get a kick out of watching the game a lot? It's changed a lot since you oh, played. Oh, it's changed. I watch... Uh, I don't watch it. I'm not going to waste my time watching... Uh, uh, Tampa Bay play uh, the San Diego Chargers. Or I watch Shula's team and I watch Raymond Berry's team on a, kind yeah. of my teammates. Yeah. But other than that, I watch the Bears. I like Dick it away he acts. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, there's so you, many other games. You played when football was a different kind of game. Now let me ask you. Uh, there's a rule that they have now called in the grasp. Beautiful. The quarterback goes back. A guy comes in, grabs his jersey. The whistle blows, and they say, he's in the grasp. Yeah, well, I want to know the official, what he knows in the grasp is. Yeah. Like when we played, the guy, the quarterback, threw the ball. Yeah. And about five seconds after you threw it, he threw the ball, you hit him. Right. And the official will say, you're getting close. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I won't do it, you know. Four <laughs> plays later, boom, the thing. You intimidated him in those days, right? Well, you had it. Was this the day before they, you had the cage? Well, you had a cage. Now you can't even get your fingers in there anymore. <laughs> They got plastic on them. <laughs> gee, gee, what a shame, Art. That, what a hell of a shame that is. Uh, are the players different today? Now, I don't know because I don't play today. You know, uh, they, uh, they they get hurt. They lay on the ground for 15 minutes, and you got the uh, chaplain and the assistant chaplain, and you got the, uh, the the trainer and his assistant, and the equipment man out there. I don't know what the hell he's out there for. <laughs> And after 15 minutes, the guy jumps up and runs off the field. What the hell is this all about? When you played, uh, according to your book, you, you guys played hurt. I mean, really hurt. Well, uh, we had to play. We didn't have that many guys. Right. I went, one time I broke my leg, and two weeks after I broke my leg, the coach says to me, you got to play. I said, I can't play. I can't even walk. How the hell am I going to play football? He said, when I snap the ball, fall down. <laughs> he said, maybe you're lucky somebody will trip over you. <laughs> Every time they snap the ball, I fall down. <laughs> and at the end of the game, the guy playing in front of me says, that's the hell of a move anybody ever put on me. <laughs> he says, I felt. never touched the all day. Yeah, were you ever hurt bad when you were playing pro ball? What's the worst, what's the worst well, thing? I got kicked in the face. I got about 58 stitches. Yeah. Of course, that doesn't bother my face. Just give me another wrinkle. Look yeah. like a Prussian general, you know. You played in the days when, and nowadays athletes, I think the myth is gone that athletes are all all heroes and all nicey-nicey because it's come out in recent years that athletes are human beings and they have their, uh, they like to go out. And in your days, a lot of guys went out drinking right after the game, or before the game, or Bobby well, Lane. Uh, we played Bobby Lane, the quarterback for the Bear, for the uh, Lions. Right. And man, you know, he, he partied. He really partied. And we're playing in Baltimore and we're putting a hell of a rush on him. And he's screaming out his offensive line that they're not blocking. So in the third quarter, we're laying on top of him and he's hollering at him in his breath, chief. <laughs> it, it reeked the whiskey, you know? I said, damn it, Bobby, we're gonna get drunk smelling your breath. I said, you must have had a hell of a night last night. He said, I had a few at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind last night, huh? <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't doubt it. it was the Bobby Lane, was he the one that drilled you? That you kept no, putting no, on? No, who, no. who was that? What was that Norman story? Van Brocklin. Tell him that story about the guy, guy that was really putting him down. He was, you know, the Dutchman, we were right? Him. Yeah, the Dutchman. Right. We were putting a lot of pressure on him. And uh, I hit him one time. He said to me, you fat son of a... I'll get you. You hit me again like that. So I said, look, I'm getting paid to hit you. That's part of the game, right? The next time I got near him, he hit me right in the face with the ball. <laughs> Boom, down I go. And the rest of the game, I rushed the pass the license. <laughs>
<laughs> he drilled you, right? Yeah, man, boy. Yeah. <laughs> much to my face. But, uh, <laughs> who, were, who was the toughest player you ever uh, was in the game? Oh, there were a lot of tough guys. I, you know, I would let my peers down if I said there was one tough guy. I think the dirtiest guy I ever saw was a guy that played on my team. And he played right behind me. His name was Bill Pellington. What do you mean dirty? What, what would he do? He's dirty. I mean, he'd do anything. Uh, he was indecent, really. <laughs> <laughs> and we were, he's rushing the passer one time and he tried to clothesline the guy. I mean, he hit him in the throat. Right. Well, he missed his throat and he hit him in the helmet. And this guy's out on the field. This guy's not even moving. He looked like he was shot to death. And Pellington goes back in the defense of Huddle. He says, Damn it, I hurt my arm on that guy. <laughs> well, he missed his throat and he hit him in the helmet and he broke his arm, broke it right straight through and played five plays with a broken arm. That's tough. I'm telling you, the next year they outfitted him with a steel brace. <laughs> and we're watching him in the movies going around, hitting people like a sledgehammer. <laughs> and anyhow, the def uh, uh, offensive lineman for the Packers named Billy Houghton came in the defensive huddle and said to the official, Why don't you give the son of a bitch a gun and let him do a clean job? <laughs>